Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Navin from UI Brains. So last class we have discussed about the REST API how to make using uh, Axios library. So in this example, the more detailed example of uh, the same REST API uh, and in this example what we are going to discuss is the employee portal. So we have already discussed this employee portal using a normal JavaScript uh, XML HTTP request and we also discussed the same example with the fetch API and now we, we are discussing the same example using Axios library. So in this example, uh, I'm not discussing the detail about uh, from the scratch how to do it. Uh, I'm going to use the existing uh, fetch API example and convert that to Axios. Okay, that's uh, uh, simple changes I'm going to do in this example. Okay. So if you want to know more about this uh, fetch API, just go watch my previous video of uh, fetch API, how to do the employee portal and then you clearly easily understand what we are doing in this video. Okay, so let's convert the fetch API example to the Axios library. So let me back to here. I think uh, let me first of all, I start the uh, Node.js server npm start. So server has started fine. So let me close all other things. So first of all, I'll just copy fetch employee, fetch employee portal, copy the folder as it is and paste it. And I'll change this to uh, 08 over 09. So it's not fetch, it's gonna be the Axios. Okay. Axios employee portal. Okay. Fine. And here uh, in Axios, you are using Brain HTTP or custom library. Now we are using Axios library. So I will delete this API folder. I only get my uh, axios.min.js and add to the this folder. Okay, so this instead of that brain.http, we are using um, Axios. Okay, and let me go to HTML. Let me import that statement. So here you need to import so script uh, src is equal to axios.min.js and previous example we are using module concept of uh, brain HTTP now here no module concept so just remove the type module okay so this is what it is and axios.min.js and uh, app.js fine so remaining everything uh, UI is same as the previous example and now go to the app.js so let's modify the app.js uh, as per our uh, as per our convenience so first of all let me open that file uh, on the browser okay so this one we are not getting data There's some problem is there we'll fix it so we don't need uh, brain HTTP now delete and uh, add event uh, see first of all when the page loads we have to get data from the server right so window dot add event listener dom content loaded we call a function call fetch api everything correct this is also correct but this is what uh, axios so axios dot get url dot then so this is not actually data it is actually gives you the response so what you have to do response dot data okay so that's it remaining everything same to same yes i got data also fine we, we slightly converted from fetch api to axios fine and then uh, remaining same nothing to worry and then uh, when i click on add employee i got a model and add employee form so let's go back to the form this is actually add employee form and here everything is okay submit okay default okay this okay this is okay and here axios dot post here you will get actually the response and what you do is response dot data okay and then call fetch api to do that okay so let me create uh, let me try this example now uh, add employee form okay so click on add employee form i'll make uh, rajan uh, jain rajan at gmail.com and mail ip address 127.0.0.1 add so with our page refresh we got added so add example also done so let's click on update when i click on update the model is not opening let me check that uh, clear fields okay uh, table body is fine and uh, here yeah 
it's not brain HTTP is gonna be the axios and here you get actually the response this is gonna be the response dot data that's it and then uh, update button also uh, this again axios dot get of URL this is gonna be the response and this is response dot dot data okay fine you get employees and populate the employees fine looks good and uh, public employee model okay and um, what else update employee form also will modify employee data everything is perfect uh, this one axios dot put uh, dot then you get the response and here is the say response uh, dot data console log and then fetch employees then that's it a small changes we have done it let's check the complete application now so before we check the complete application let me restart the server uh, server of node.js let me just click on uh, npm start okay so server has been started so go refresh once yes so whenever the page loads we get just two records from the server and add employee so click on add employee so I will add something called my name Naveen uh, my name at gmail.com and mail 127.0.0. Uh, let's make like this 98.45. something dot something add without page refresh it is added successful update so John Wilson I want to update yes I got John data so I just said John underscore W update I got john underscore w at gmail.com updated and then um, delete you can make Laura Wilson delete just click on delete it is deleted okay let's make delete of uh, Navin deleted so no refresh okay so yes that's it uh, so we just converted the fetch API to the Axios library okay so remaining everything same to same as we have done the fetch API so that's it thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you